Evening, oh my god, this game is terrifying. Right, um, decided to come back to the plane and make a new uh, base. And then I woke up to find this. <laughs> They're looking at me funny. <laughs> oh, this game, right, I'm a grown man. We all grown men. Um, six for four, and this gave me a nightmare. I had a nightmare because of this game. It is terrifying. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you dudes, it is brilliant. If you've not bought this game yet, maybe consider buying it in the next week or so because it's about to hit, I think, some form of official alpha. Or maybe even beta, I'm not sure, but um, there's a countdown on the front page and I think it's kind of saying, you know, this is coming soon. So, you know, maybe just consider that. Um, it's just brilliant. It is real hunter-gatherer fighter tribal stuff and it is bloody good um look at them they're, they're not sure what to make of me the man from the skybird um the chief looks a bit angry and he's got a lot of a lot of arms give the man a hand <laughs> whoa 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 back you go and then say so see maybe i'm wrong maybe i shouldn't have attacked him i don't know and then his woman gets involved so literally it's become like a night down the pub in newcastle uh, other pubs are available where look at them run away yeah that's right where basically <laughs> the most dangerous creature on earth is a pissed off drunk woman who's defending her man or vice versa because men when they fight right we're just we're simple creatures we would beat each other up and then it'd be like right mate i'll get you a drink because there's a respect there with women no tooth hair claws biting ripping oh my god it's just ridiculous oh my god i'm scared this guy's gonna rip me to pieces um so the chief runs away so his minions run away the ai is pretty good then i realized aha the woman is there but i walked on the fire so i've actually set myself on fire and i'm in trouble i'm in big 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 trouble now i thought that was it game done but it's not look at this i have woken up somewhere in a cave and thankfully i've still got my lighter um because crikey i won't be able to see anything and i have no idea where i am this is just remarkably terrifying now if you've ever seen the descent oh uh, bodies so that's what happened to the crew pretty much so there you go so that's that's pretty terrifyingly scary um however there's a nice axe there that'll do nicely this is pretty terror as you can see i was just shitting my pants at this point it was rarely has a game oh my god look there's teeth hanging from little bits of wire oh my god never has a game completely gripped me like this as i'm moving through i can hear them as well i'll shut up for a second and you can hear them okay maybe not then i'm getting close to them now it's just so terrifying <laughs> um i i god i die this completely frazzled my mind i can't tell you how terrifying I where this was but however ever look there's rope so it's actually quite important that I've come under here because I needed rope for some of my my contraptions uh, that you'll see um so yeah seriously look at this game it is so clever and it's apparently done by four dudes only this is just an absolute masterpiece I love it um as I'm sneaking through here I am surrounded by enemies um, they're asleep and they're actually up in the stalagmites. I think it's the top one, isn't it? Um, and they're asleep. So I'm basically sneaking all the way through to get the frack out of here because, oh, this is breaking my mind. I, I rarely get terrified. I rarely get scared of a game ever because it's just a game. This thing just literally was breaking my mind. As I was doing this, I was shaking. And I know I'm a girl, I know, but I, I have, there's something in games called flow. If you've heard of flow, then you'll know exactly what I'm on about. Flow, oh god, no, no, lighter. Uh, flow is a an attribute that gamers have when they are so immersed in the game that everything is just completely, you know, overtaking them. So anything, anything and everything could be going on around them and they just don't see it. Um, and it's called flow. And seriously, I had it in buckets with this because it was terrifying. Um, so anyway, I came to this wooden fence and it was like, well, what do I do? Because if I make a noise, aren't they going to hear me? And as I come into this larger cave, I realize it's not a cave. It's outside. And I can tell you now, I was jumping for freaking joy as I came out there. 
Oh, so there we go. I mean, just I can't I can't convey to you how terrifying that was. And I'm doing this audio afterwards because I did an audio track for this when I was playing it. All and I listened back to it, and all I could do was, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I was being really quiet as well. And I'm thinking to myself, it's like, you know, the game's not going to hear me. You know, <laughs> it was just pathetic. It really was. Everything about it literally disgusted myself because of myself. It was really strange. But this, I hopefully um, you're going to see, is just testament to what an amazing game this is shaping up to be. And it's only an alpha development build at the moment. So. All I can say is, guys, look, just consider buying this one when it comes on offer, maybe. Just consider getting it because it's bloody good. Um, we, this is very, very early footage. So this is like day one of I, when I played it. I've been playing this for a week now, and I have built a freaking fortress. And every night, well, every day as well, I'm fighting these dudes to the point where they've left me alone for quite a while now. And it's funny because I don't know the AI behind it, but it seems very, very clever. Um, yes, they keep coming, but if you beat the freaking crap out of them, um, they run away. And so far, I've probably killed about 13, 14 of them now. And you can tell because they're actually terrified of me. Um, whereas on the first or second night, that one you just saw, they were inquisitive. And it seems that after a while, they've now become terrified of me. So, you know, I've got effigies of their dead friends all over my base. It is pretty freaking good. Um, and I actually had Molotovs, I have bombs, I have just literally crafted everything in the game. Um, the only problem is I then have been hit with the inventory bug, so I couldn't use Molotovs, I couldn't use bombs. So eventually my base will fall, um, but I won't spoil that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this is unfortunately I do die in this one, so I won't spoil it for you. Um, but I do start in the next one. We'll show you building the base. We'll show you how we we did it. Um, pretty much, we got left alone. I don't know if that was a bug from the get go. We you know we got um, a few of them came at us, but we just quickly you know stomped the floor with them. Well, I you know I did it, and uh, I got left alone for quite a while. So I was able to build everything really quick, and I just went for it. I just built. As, you know, cut down everything I saw and I built a wall very quickly and once I got the wall up I've been able to pretty much hold them off because if you build an entire perimeter wall and then you put fires in the way it did keep them completely away so definitely 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 loving this game it is just incredible and there's only a few things in the game yet so this is what makes it even better is it's just going to get better bigger and better and more and more so definitely definitely recommend this to everyone Ah, uh, but there we go. Terrifying stuff, that's all I can say. This game is is just so good. And it's funny because it's a real journey as well, it's a roller coaster because you start off like this, completely against everything, and you're so vulnerable. But I mean I built a log cabin, that was an amazing step forward. It just seemed that they didn't get they couldn't get in there. So they left me alone. So after a while, they, you know, I just, it was really odd. I think for, for, for the game that and the program, the AI, it is remarkably good. Um, but you'll see this. We're going to do a regular series of this now just because we're so into it. Um, and I've got to admit, I'm just loving it so much. Um, it, it's rare that I get completely terrified <laughs> about stuff, but I've got to admit, lately, this has got me um, and it's silly things like you shouldn't stay too close to the plane that's one thing I did it actually in the next one you'll see and um, in fact it's not so bad as long as you can re it, it all depends how badly you beat up the leader I find and I could be wrong post in the comments if you know the AI here because it does seem that if you beat the leader up they leave you hell alone for quite a while uh, so there we go and to be honest you hear the crow call you just run like shit because that crow isn't the crow it's them it's them and if you can figure that out and run and hide you'll do well <laughs> so keep watching this is going to get big and i hope you enjoyed that we'll see you next time